Hi, I'm Brandon Smith, founder of altmarket.com and Gorilla Think Tank. And uh, I don't know if you can tell in the video right now, but we're having some crappy weather today. So I thought I would take this opportunity to discuss an issue which I think a lot of preppers tend to ignore or neglect. And that's the issue of durability and weatherproofing. I've done a lot of training in uh, cold weather climates, wet weather climates. And I can tell you from experience that in a collapse scenario, SHTF, uh, grid down, um, you're probably going to be spending a lot of time outdoors. Uh, a lot of your work will require that. And you're probably going to be spending a lot of time in damp environments, uh, wet weather environments. In these, in, this, in these types of situations, you're not going to be dealing only with uh, rain and snow you're also going to be dealing with condensation in your gear and condensation there's really not much you can do to stop it it's going to get all over everything no matter what you do one of the biggest weaknesses i've seen in the preparedness movement in their mindset and in their training is this sort of obsession with buying cheap gear uh, garbage gear stuff that is uh, will do the trick for a little while but it's not durable enough to stand the test of time in general with survival gear combat gear uh, that sort of stuff uh, you're really going to get what you pay for sometimes there are uh, mid-grade to low-grade options that will do the trick um, but in general you get what you pay for for example uh, in terms of electronics or in terms of comms uh, right here I have a Yesu FT270. Uh, this is a um, heavy-duty, uh, submersible, weatherproofed radio. This is a, an amazing radio. Um, it's only uh, VHF, but um, I would take this into a survival situation any day. Um, the problem is it's going to cost you about $170, and a lot of people don't want to spend that kind of money on a radio. So, instead of buying something like this, which uh, will stand the test of time, uh, a lot of preppers will buy something like this, the uh, Baofeng UV-5R. Now, the UV-5R, this is, this is essentially a Chinese piece of garbage. This is crap right here. Um, it will not stand the test of time. Uh, not as it is. This has, uh, this is UHF, VHF, UHF. And it has more uh, bells and whistles and options, but overall, uh, this is not something I would recommend, as is, uh, taking into an SHTF scenario. However, the UV-5R does cost only $25. $25 for a, a dual-band uh, UHF-VHF radio. So the temptation is very high to buy this over this. Now, I realize that a lot of people aren't made out of money, neither am I, so we got to find a middle ground. So we got to figure a way to make electronics like this more durable and at a lower cost than the higher grade electronics uh, that are already weatherproofed. We're going to go inside right now out of this rain and I will show you exactly how to do that and I'll show you how to do it for only $18. Alright, so what I have here is first a uh, dismantled Baofeng UV-5R uh, dismantled down to the circuit board and next to it I have what's called uh, silicon modified conformal coating. Now this stuff uh, is probably the best weatherproofing uh, coating that I could find. I've tried a few others and this one seems to be the most effective as far as electronics go because you don't have to put it on very thick for it to work. A lot of other coatings that I've tried, uh, you either have to put on really thick or they, the way they're applied, they're, the applicator, just they just go on real thick anyway and there's not much you can do about it. So this is really the best. And you can find this on Amazon for around $18. Um, last time I checked, uh, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. Now, there are some things that you will have to have on hand 
uh, in order to uh, get the UV5R or other electronics taken apart, you might have to have a, a electronics a screwdriver set um, for these really tiny screws. You might need to have a soldering kit uh, just in case something comes apart because a lot of these cheap electronics, when you start taking them apart, uh, pieces will just, uh, uh, soldered pieces will just break off. Um, that's how cheap they are. The pieces will just come apart just from you uh, taking apart the casing. Essentially what this silicone coating does is it seals up all the exposed circuitry on your electronics. And this is so thin you can even use it on the buttons of say this this radio and the buttons will work just fine that it'll everything will continue to function as normal it won't ruin the the uh, device that you're trying to coat um, it's not water based so it's not going to cause any sort of uh, short circuit or anything like that so I'll show you real quick uh, basically how to apply this stuff uh, it comes with an applicator in the cap it's a little brush as you can see and uh, all you have to do is take the, the brush and lightly run your coating across the, all the exposed circuitry. Basically the entire uh, circuit board. You're going to run this stuff across in a thin layer, not a thick layer, uh, a thin layer. And a, a little bit of this stuff goes quite a long way actually. There we go. That's a pretty good example. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but that's a really thin layer, uh, even over top of these buttons here. And, you know, everything will continue to function as it, as it did before you took it apart. Through testing, I found there are some limitations to this, to this uh, product. Um, and it's more limitations of the devices you're trying to uh, weatherproof than the uh, coating itself. For example, uh, you could coat the entire circuit board uh, and all the exposed uh, soldering and wiring of this radio, but that's not necessarily going to make it submersible. It will make it highly weatherproof and also when you coat uh, the circuits with this coat with this silicone, it also tends to add quite a bit of durability. So when you drop this radio, if there's a lot of uh, heavy shock to this radio, it won't get damaged very easily. This stuff is uh, really amazing as far as um, making your electronics durable. However, if you are trying to uh, dunk this radio after coating it, dunk this radio down into uh, you know a lake or a river or something like that, um, your radio, unless you somehow found a way to isolate the uh, battery pack and, and all of that, which is really difficult to do with these things, um, unless you've done that, uh, your, your radio probably will uh, shut off for a little while. Uh, once the battery pack and everything dries out, um, it will turn back on and everything will run normally, but it's not necessarily submersible like that Yesu 270. So, yes, w with this coating, and uh, you know any cheaper electronics you might have, if you if you use this coating on them, uh, this will weatherproof them enough to be used in an SHTF scenario and in, in the outdoors. It it will withstand condensation, which is basically, in my opinion, the biggest problem with electronics uh, in a uh, SHTF situation uh, is just constant condensation. If you're having to uh, go on to on security uh, excursions or if you're say you're bugging out uh, if you're in the unfortunate uh, position of having to bug out from your primary retreat location or whatever um, condensation is being a constant problem um, any kind of weather changes unless you're in some kind of uh, desert part uh, desert region uh, condensation you're gonna run into wet weather and condensation so with we've taken a basically a $25 uh, ham radio and $18 in the silicone coating and we've made a radio that will be 
uh, effective enough to be used in SHTF situation on a regular basis in the outdoors in bad weather. I want to thank the sponsor of this video real quick, Birch Gold Group. If you are familiar with my work in economics, you know I'm a huge proponent of gold and silver as a way to protect your savings during an economic collapse or an economic downturn. If you'd like to learn more about all the different ways you can protect your savings with gold and silver, uh, including protecting your 401k or your IRA, then I suggest you go to the description below and click on the link for Birch Gold Group. I want to thank everyone for watching this video. If you would like to see more videos like this one, and you would like to help support this channel, there is a donate button in the description below. I will not be monetizing this channel through YouTube, so it will be viewers like you and uh, your patronage that helps support this channel and um, you know helps keep these videos coming. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This is Brandon Smith and Gorilla Think Tank signing off. Thanks for watching.